Take, every, take this down, folks. A negative first impression is made when you don't follow up. So Nick said this to me in the call the other day, Nick, Nick Maselli from TD Bank. Nick said, once you make a great first impression, he had this great line, then what? Nick remembers you said, then what? You, here's the deal. You make, I, we interviewed someone the other day that we thought did a good job in an interview. We have a job opening. By the end of the day, we got an email from that person that said, Steve, great talking to you on the phone. I'm really looking forward to getting together with you. P.S. There's one thing I didn't get a chance to talk to you about, and it was just two lines. And I thought, oh my God, that email makes all the difference. Follow up and follow through. Follow up and follow through. Making a great first impression isn't only what you do when you say with your handshake and your eye contact and your body language and you don't have bad cologne and your hair's not too big. That's all great. What you do is as, as important as what you say, in some ways more important. You have, a great imp you have a great interview with someone and you don't follow up? You don't follow, you said you were gonna send them something by the end of the week and you don't do it, you are gone. Who cared that you made a good first impression? You're done. So in that spirit, the other thing about making a good first impression is you have to end on time, so I'm gonna do this.